to write the balanced net ionic equation for Zn plus CuNO3 2. That's zinc plus copper 2 nitrate. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. Here it's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. I would like to check one other thing though. I'd like to see if this reaction actually happens. It's a single displacement. The zinc is pushing the copper out, and here we have the copper. So let's check the activity series, see if this actually happens. We can see that zinc is right here, and then copper is down here on the bottom. So zinc is more reactive. That means it can push the copper out in a reaction and then bond with the nitrate. We'll get the zinc nitrate. So this reaction, it does happen. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. Zinc, that's a metal. Put a little S after that. It's going to be a solid. Nitrates are very soluble. So we're going to write a little AQ after that. Copper is a solid. And then again, another nitrate, zinc nitrate. That'll be aqueous as well. So it'll dissociate into its ions. It's what we call a strong electrolyte. So we want to next split the strong electrolytes up into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. So zinc, that's the solid here, is just one thing. We can't split that up. So I'm going to just write Zn, and I won't write these states until the end. Plus, with the copper 2 nitrate, nitrates, if you look them up on a table of common ions, polyatomic ions, that has a negative charge. Because of that, we have 1 times 2. We have two of these nitrates. So the copper has to be 2 plus to balance the two negative charges. So when we split this up, we'll have copper 2 plus, which would be aqueous, plus the nitrate, NO3 minus, also aqueous, and we have two of them. So we need to put a coefficient of 2 in front. These are the reactants. For the products, we have copper plus, we said zinc was 2 plus, the nitrate had that negative there, 1 minus, Zn 2 plus, plus NO3 minus. And again, we have two. So we have two of these here. This is what we call the complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. These are ions that appear on both sides of the equation. So we have zinc here and zinc here. Let's make it look like a Z. These two zincs, but they're different. This one is zinc metal, solid. This is an aqueous ion. Very different. Can't cross it out. Same for copper. We can't cross these out. But we have two nitrates here, and in the products we have the two nitrates. Those we cross out. So we're left with Zn plus Cu2 plus yields Cu plus Zn2 plus. That's the net ionic equation. Let me clean that up and write the states in. And this is the net ionic equation for Zn plus CuNO3 2, zinc plus copper 2 nitrate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.